Hello, I'm Woodrow Wilcox. I like to think that I'm a pretty fair-minded person. I want to speak up for Rudy Clay, Mayor of Gary, Indiana, and for Mitch Daniels, Governor of Indiana. One's a Democrat, one's a Republican. I want to defend both of them against what I consider to be unfair criticism. Gary Mayor Rudy Clay has been criticized recently for all the financial problems that Gary has. But Mayor Clay did not cause those problems. Those problems were caused by previous mayors who did not check bills before paying bills out of the Gary Treasury. In federal court recently, one contractor who had been selling things to Gary, Indiana was convicted of overbilling Gary, Indiana somewhere between $75 million and $150 million. That's not Rudy Clay's fault. I admire Rudy Clay for being willing to take a 20% pay cut to try to help the city of Gary. So I want to cut a lot of slack for this man as he tries to work out those problems. Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels has been criticized by his opponent, Jill Long Thompson, because Indiana has lost 60,000 jobs while he's been governor. Well, that's true, but Mitch Daniels has brought into Indiana almost a quarter of a million jobs. So Mitch Daniels knew that some jobs would be lost and he went out hunting for more jobs for Indiana residents and he got them. The net increase of jobs in Indiana since Mitch Daniels took office is almost 200,000. I think that's quite an accomplishment. And I would like Jill Long Thompson to stop lying about jobs or, you know, slanting the truth and hurting Mitch Daniels when in fact Mitch Daniels has in fact brought in almost 200,000 jobs net and actually brought in about a quarter of a million jobs minus the 60,000 jobs that Indiana lost. I think that's an accomplishment for Mitch Daniels and I think that Jill Long Thompson should be ashamed of herself for juggling around the figures in order to make Mitch Daniels look bad in a very unfair way. So I'm speaking out so that Gary Mayor Rudy Clay, a Democrat, should be treated fairly and I'm speaking out so that Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels, a Republican, should be treated fairly by his opponent, Jill Long Thompson. I'm Woodrow Wilcox. That's my opinion.